In this video, we're going to go over how you can bring Vanellope to your valley and unlock the Dream Snaps feature in Disney Dreamlight Valley. All right, so the first thing we need to do to unlock Vanellope, you have to meet the minimum requirements first. So as long as you've progressed in the game somewhat, you should have this quest from Scrooge. If not, make sure you're leveling up your friendship with Merlin and try to get Scrooge's store. I'm pretty sure there's a combination of those two things that you're going to need before Scrooge is going to give you this quest. So the quest you are looking for is the Haunting of Dreamlight Valley. That is going to kick off the series of events where you can bring Vanellope to your valley and this goes pretty quickly so the first thing we're going to do is go find scrooge he's in his shop talk to him about this quest and he says that he needs our help with a potentially supernatural matter he says he was exploring the dream castle looking for hidden rooms and treasure when he thinks he saw a ghost but he said that the ghosts look different than the ones he's seen before and he gives us the quest to go to the dream castle and look for the ghost and he does specify that it's at the very top of the stairs next to the fountain. So we know exactly where to look in the dream castle. So let's head to the dream castle, go all the way up to the top. And by the fountain, who do we find? Here's Vanellope. She is excited that we're here. She is glitching all over the place. She and she says she wants us to try taking a picture and sharing it on the network and talking to Vanellope that clears the haunting of Dreamlight Valley quest we got from Scrooge and it kicks off the quest Faith, Trust, and Pixel Dust and this is the quest that we need to complete to bring Vanellope to our valley and to be able to unlock the Dream Snaps feature. Now this quest serves kind of like a mini tutorial for Dream Snaps so you're not actually doing the weekly challenge as you complete this quest but the steps are pretty similar to the weekly challenge that you will see in the Dream Snaps feature. Now it gives us some information about Dream Snaps and tells us that we will decorate, take a picture with our phone, and submit it. It tells us that generally there are requirements for Dream Snaps, that we can find them under the event tab in the menu, and that they are based on the tags in the wardrobe or furniture menus. And this will also tell you which button to push after taking a photo so that you can see how many items the game thinks you have towards these requirements. On the Switch, it's ZR, but on this screen, you should see for your game which button it is for you to press based on the platform you're playing on. So let's head out of the Dream Castle and we can see that the quest has updated. Participate in the Dream Snaps challenge. It says snap a photo with the tag requirements seen in the Dream Snaps menu. So let's take a look at that Dream Snaps menu. We go over to the event tab, go all the way down to Dream Snaps and current challenge. And right now it is showing me the tags that I would need to complete Vanellope's tutorial challenge for this quest. And it tells me I need five playful and five familiar. It also has these suggested of Modern and Wreck-It Ralph. I haven't quite figured out how those play into the scoring, but maybe it's a lot of the Wreck-It Ralph stuff is playful and familiar. And based on the picture, I actually have a room made with the free furniture they had given us in the mail a few weeks ago. And I think it might work for this challenge. And you can decorate somewhere inside or outside to fulfill this little quest and future challenges. If you're having trouble fulfilling the challenge, keep in mind that you cannot have any touch of magic furniture or clothing. Those are the custom design pieces that you make in the touch of magic tool. You can't have any of those things on your character, nearby, or in the frame. So the easiest thing if you've used a ton of these outside is to go to a new room in your house and just decorate it for the challenge. So I think that's that's what I'm going to do is use an indoor setting. If you don't know which furniture or clothing items might count for the challenge, you can go to your furniture tab. I go to all and then at the top it'll tell you what button to push on switch. It's Y to get to the filters and if I scroll down I can see that playful and familiar. Those were the two things that I need for this challenge. Select those. I use the B button to go back but whatever you do to get back so you can see the items again. Now all the items in here should count towards the challenge. So if you're using things, putting things down from this menu and you have those tags 
tags turned on, you can see at the top it says my active filters are familiar and playful, then these items should count for the challenge. So here's the room that I had built before. We made this on stream when we got the free items, the different arcade games. So I'm going to take out my camera. Note that if I press the R on this screen why I just had my camera out, nothing happens, right? So I'm going to try to get as many of these items in the photo as I can. So I take my photo and now that I've taken a photo, you can see that the little options in the bottom left have changed. So now I have ZR show dream snaps. And so if I click ZR, now I get this new thing in the top left corner that says dream snaps. And it's telling me how many items I have that are playful, how many I have that are familiar. Now, if my number is red, the first number is red, that means I need to add more items in that category. And because those are okay, I get the next line under that that says submit. On the switch, you hit X. If you're playing on a different platform, it'll tell you whatever button you need to click there. If you don't see that, maybe you didn't meet the challenge, maybe you have that touch of magic furniture. I have another video just going over all the reasons that you might not be able to submit, but I can submit mine. So I'm going to submit mine here. This is just for the tutorial. It doesn't really matter. And it tells me that it's been submitted correctly. Everything went fine. I hit OK. I think this is the part that's the most confusing for most of us because we don't realize that we're in a tutorial because the game didn't really tell us. So for Vanilla P's tutorial, we can only submit one photo and the score doesn't matter as long as it meets the minimum qualifications. So if we were to go back in and try to update our photo, it's not going to work. It's going to throw us into the weekly challenge, sort of. And that's the point where it gets confusing because in the weekly challenge, you can update your submission. In Vanilla P's quest, in the tutorial, you cannot. So as soon as you submit that one qualifying photo, and it doesn't matter what your score is, as long as it qualifies and meets those minimum requirements, then you are done. Close your camera app and and continue with the quest. And when I come out of camera mode, we can see that the quest has updated. It says talk to Penelope in the dream castle. Don't take any more pictures. Don't try to submit any more dream snaps right now. Just continue with Penelope's quest. All right, so we're going to go back and talk to Penelope again. And she tells us that when we added the photo to the network, all these pixelated dust bits gathered around her. She talks to us some more. And then the quest updates and our next task is to place Penelope's house in our valley. So let's go place Penelope's house. You place her house just like anybody else's from the furniture menu. Then go up to the sign, click on it, Scrooge will arrive. You have to pay him, uh, what, 4,000 coins? That's not too bad. So we pay him, the house gets built. I got stuck on this screen with Welcome Vanellope. I was like, oh no, my switch froze. It didn't freeze. You have to click the button one or two more times. Then Vanellope arrives, talk to her again to clear her request. Now it says Faith, Trust, and Pixel Dust complete. Now we can move on to unlocking the Dream Snaps feature. I'm pretty sure this is the point where you can go back into the menu, go back to the event tab, down to current challenges. If it still says playful and familiar, you might have to actually click when you get to the current challenge. What you want to have happen is bring up this Dream Snaps disclaimer. Read through the disclaimer. It tells you congrats on completing the tutorial. The tutorial was Penelope's quest. It would have been nice if they had kind of told us that ahead of time. And they tell us that now the images that we submit can be shared with other players. It tells us that this is optional. You don't have to share your photos. You don't have to participate in these challenges. But you do need to opt in if you want to use the Dream Snaps feature. You can always opt out later, they say. So here, if you want to unlock the Dream Snaps feature, opt in. And once you do that, we'll have this little how it works thing pop up and it tells us again, you need to either place items or put on clothing that matches the tags for the challenge that week. And the more things with those tags that you have, the more points you get. The week after submissions, you'll be able to vote on each other's and you'll get more points that way. Once the results are calculated, we will get prizes in the mail. So you do get 300 Moonstones just for participating and then up to 50 for voting. So after you click OK here, 
here, now you have unlocked the Dream Snaps feature. You can participate in the weekly challenges. The first weekly challenge started the day of the update on a Wednesday and it runs through the next week. So Wednesday next week, we will be getting a new Dream Snaps challenge with different rules. So make sure you submit each week if you want to earn those moonstones. The main thing is now you can participate in the weekly challenges, but pay attention to what those tags are. Now they are elegant and wondrous and we need three elegant and five wondrous minimum. And then the other part is reading down below the theme is dreamlight ball but under dreamlight ball it says outfit challenge and here's the important thing to know there are actually two types of dream snaps challenges the one we did with vanellope that is a decorating challenge the game is only looking at the furniture we put down and everything that we're using to decorate this one is not a decorating challenge so you can put all the furniture you want and the game isn't gonna count any of it i think this was maybe one of the more confusing parts for all of us instead this is an outfit challenge and we tested this on stream and the game is only going to count the things that you are wearing. So instead of going to the furniture tab and using your tags there, you have to go to the wardrobe tab and use your tags there. So pay attention each week as to whether or not that is a decorating challenge or an outfit challenge. And now you are able to participate in the weekly challenges. So to find out what the weekly challenge is, you would always come to the event tab, go down to current challenge under dream snaps. Look for those mandatory tags. Those are the things you want to use in your filters to find out which items would count for the challenge. There's also going to be a little Dream Snap specific slider that'll sort your items for you with the items that are more likely to give you points towards the top of your list. As long as the competition period is open, you can change your submission. It'll always take whatever your last submission is. So if you don't like your first photo, you can take another one. You can submit that one instead all through the week while the challenge is going on. Hopefully this gives you enough to get started with Dream Snaps. At the very least, it should get you through the tutorial and unlocking Dream Snaps. If you do run into issues, consider taking a look at this video that goes over seven things that could prevent you from uploading your Dream Snap submission and how to fix them.